Hey everyone, so I wanted to make a little overview video, not so much building automations, but kind of a things to know, especially for these social media automations, um, especially if you're running this with the buttons add on from cloud. So I would definitely suggest for any social media automations that you guys use a proxy. Um, there's free and paid proxies, obviously paid is more likely to yield better results. Um, and I had two recommendations, one free and one paid that I wanted to show you guys. So the first is privateproxy.me. Um, we've worked with them a ton in the past and they used to be a proxy provider for us. Um, they have fantastic residential proxies. Um, they let you specify the social media sites that you're working on so that they can get proxies that work specifically for those sites in a little bit better way. Um, and I, I would definitely suggest these, whether you're gonna get just one or if you're running multiple accounts, you might wanna get multiple and have a one proxy per account. Um, different ways to kind of plug and play this as you see. The other one is WebShare, which is um, if you're going to pay for a proxy, just I would highly suggest go with private proxy. If you're looking for free, um, WebShare is good because they give you 10 free ones to try with. Uh, you just might see not as great results. Um, one thing to know is let me log into WebShare actually quickly. I'll show you guys a little bit of the setup proc uh, proxy process. Uh, so you can see what you're looking for and things see what things look like. Okay, so I don't really care for the pro the free proxies in my account on WebShare, so no problem showing you guys stuff here. But if you guys aren't familiar with proxies, um, you're going to see some sort of format kind of like this, where you're going to have an IP address, um, a port, and a username and a password. So we have some tutorials with this on our site, but what you can do is, is click the bottom corner here and then use proxy and then you're just gonna enter it in this format where you enter the proxy, the port, the username, and then the password. And what this is gonna mean is when we run the automation, it's essentially telling Instagram that you don't live on this cloud you know, server, we're running traffic from here, which is a different location instead. Um, so ideally you're getting something in the same country that you live in. Uh, Private Proxy does great for providing both US, UK, Canadian, and any other foreign um, country, really. They, I haven't had any issues with them. Um, same with WebShare. Occasionally you run into some inaccurate countries, but uh, these are the ones that I'd recommend, at least on the proxy side, for running your automations. The other thing is, when you're running these social media automations, absolutely be cautious of how active you're being. Um, most automation detection isn't really from the software you're using, but it's more the frequency of what you're doing. So if you're sending, let's say 500 Instagram messages a day, um, Instagram is much more likely to pick you up because of the fact of the pure quantity, um, regardless of if you were using a tool to do it, or if you just had uh, five different people sending messages the entire day. So what I would definitely recommend is scale up until you kind of feel some resistance from the platform. Um, send 20 a day, 30 a day, then 40 a day, etc. as you go, just to kind of warm up those limits. The other thing is just to help with identifying you and kind of securing that you're who you say you are, um, I would definitely recommend adding cookies to your automation, which we have some tutorials on, just to help tell Instagram more about you. Um, I'd also really recommend the randomizing mouse movement. So just a couple recommendations for a general overview video. We are getting a lot of support requests regarding, I guess, like tips and tricks for starting this. I would highly suggest using proxies, um, especially residential proxies. I would prefer you guys get unlimited bandwidth because your automations aren't necessarily optimized for speed. They're optimized for ease of building, uh, which means they're going to run a little bit slower. Uh, if you're not used to calculating bandwidth, um, I would just avoid honestly just avoid it, especially for five bucks a month. Um, it's not that big of a deal compared to buying like a residential proxy that's going to charge you $5 a gigabyte or things like that. So let me know if you guys have any other questions. Feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, again, just kind of overview of tips and tricks. Let me know what other things you guys have experienced, what else helps with your guys' automations and things like that.